I'm Rick Dancer. This is Nick Casa. That means the house. Can you guys say the house? The house. That's right. This is Lisa. Say hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. We are with Look Me in the Eye. People like that. Something amazing happens when you give people the opportunity to see others in a new light. People with disabilities have a voice, that I have a purpose, that I have, that I have a reason to do this. And I've been screaming that for many years, and I finally got, I finally am getting people to hear me. They shouldn't be judging you on the outside. They should look at you on the inside and say, oh, this person is just as smart as I am. It's a wonderful campaign. I think it's a voice for them that hasn't been there. To, it's a voice for the voiceless. When we get into schools, um, you really see kids open up and start talking about different um, challenges they may have, whether it's a learning disability or just being a little bit different. In elementary school, I got bullied a lot. Why do we pick on each other? I'm looking for answers. We had no idea that we would be in the stratosphere in such a short period of time. People have just taken to this message because it's so easy to grasp. An eye is something that helps you reach in and connect to someone that you otherwise would pass by. What I see happening for our clients is that they're discovering power in their community that they haven't previously experienced. When they're acknowledged, it just brings forth a whole part of themselves that may, they may not have even seen before. It's a great program. Look it up. Be inspired by what you see there. Because human connection is really important for everyone, not just people with disabilities, but human connection makes us motivated to keep waking up in the morning. My sister has a disability. Vasilia Kramer, a junior at South Eugene High School, heard about Look Me in the Eye and got an idea. I got to know the kids in the Life Skills classroom and they're great kids and it was a ton of fun and I really wanted my friends to have the opportunity to be friends with them. So she started a Look Me in the Eye club at South Eugene. We do, we play basketball together, we just talk about what it means to include people, and it's just a really great environment. I thought it would be really important because I know a lot of people who may not have as many friends because of, you know, whatever, family problems, all sorts of things, and like if we could have a place where everybody is just sort of included and nobody like cares, then it's, it makes our school more tight-knit. But the Look Me in the Eye campaign has really given people the opportunity to go out on that limb of discomfort and do things that you normally wouldn't do, but the message is, it's okay. Ask me a question. It allows them to have an expression of value and a recognition for themselves that they, in many other respects, are not experiencing. I think it's really easy to see someone with a disability and just dismiss that and just kind of walk on by. Um, but when you think about it and really make an effort to make that contact and look them in the eye, um, it, it makes a huge impact. Lisa, who's an artist, who writes, who paints, who does all these amazing things, and you would never know it if you didn't listen to her story, look her in the eye, and take time to get to know her. We're gonna shock you, we're gonna amaze you, we're gonna do everything you told us we can't do it. There we go. All right. The house. Thank you. Woo. I really feel like I'm part of something that can honestly be felt. If we keep going to schools and keep making it bigger and bigger, it can be felt all around the world. And it can be, and it can make change happen. Because to me, that's how I see the game. It's an opportunity to make change. You are an inspiration. Thank change you. The world. Okay. See you later, man.